Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will show you the latest update progress made on the Checkpoint GitHub page on the today's date and I will show you what are the changes in the iOS 15 branch and also if you haven't watched my previous part on the Checkpoint Jailbreak iOS 15, you can watch it from the description link. I am running the series regarding the Checkpoint Jailbreak iOS 15 progress and update so you can watch that. Now let's start this video. All right. Now if you check out the Checkrin GitHub page, you will see the Pongo OS is updated 17 hours ago and the new lib is yesterday at the time of making this video and the Segusa has posted new two commit. One is the LTO new lib that I'm following with the new commit and the other one is this pro clack 12 on the KPF. If you guys don't know what is KPF, KPF is the kernel patch finder. Now let's see what are the changes. Now if you see the make file that have been changed with the enable LTO for the new lib with 2 addition and 2 deletion and you can see the changes between the left code to the right code. We can see some changes in the embedded flag and the new lib LDF flag and the other new lib IB class flag also. So these changes have been made in the yesterday make file with 2 addition and 2 deletion. Now also in the Pongo OS 17 hours ago some changes. So let's see I will go to the iOS 15 branch and you can see there this pro clang on 12 on kpf that means they are fixing some changes in the kernel patch finder and if you go down and compare and you will see the pongo option in that the pongo flag had added the static tag so these are all the changes that have been made till on the checkpoint github page for the ios 15 jailbreak progress and like this i will keep updating you with the latest update and the method so let's wait hope for the best so i will see you in the next one so till then goodbye take care and peace out